All right, what's up guys, Toasty here, Get Burnt today, and we're talking more about Dragon Ball Xenoverse, and I haven't talked about Dragon Ball Xenoverse in quite a while, only because, you know, after DLC Pack 3 came out, uh, I haven't lost any drive to play the game. I do still play the game, like, every single day, but a lot of people have stopped playing the game, and I kind of wanted to talk about it for this one time and see, like, how you guys feel about the game as well now. I know a lot of you have probably burnt out on the game, a lot of you don't like it anymore, a lot of you probably have just gotten bored of it, because, you know, J Dragon Ball Xenoverse is a kind of grindy game, especially with Parallel Quest. So it w can get a little bit boring for a lot of people, especially since they're playing the same quest over and over again. So the replay value of the game isn't as huge as uh, you'd expect, but the replay value is definitely a lot more than the other Dragon Ball Z games that we've gotten in the past years. I mean, hell, Raging Blast 2 was really just, they gave you the galaxy mode, then they gave you the a few other modes, obviously, but then they gave you a versus mode, and that was really it. You got online, and then after that, that was it. Now, Battle of Z, I, I didn't even like the game to even try and replay play it a lot uh there then in, for the other games ultimate tenkaichi like there was no replay value in that game everything in that game was short besides the story mode and yeah there's just not a lot of replayability in dragon ball z games usually now and you know xenoverse is kind of the biggest uh replay value game that we've gotten in a long time and even though it has been a few months it did take a few months for dragon ball xenoverse to really die or at least not even die i mean it's not technically even dead people are still playing it uh but it's just not as many people as it when it started uh it did get like the most sales out of any Dragon Ball Z game for a very long time and uh, I did really well which is why I think that they're definitely gonna be making a Xenoverse 2 so uh for Xenoverse 2 I, there's gonna be a whole bunch of things that people are gonna be wanting uh and yes because you know obviously games uh before they're announced they're already being worked on for quite a while uh, it's not like Xenoverse 2 when they announce it, that's when it starts development. No, it's most likely going to be announced about a year or so, and it, then it'll like be like it's already been in development for like what a year or two. Uh, because you know, well, not two, well, not nah, it wouldn't be two because the game actually finished back in February, so yeah, it will be announced like a year later, but they're probably going to be working on it now because that game is the most successful Dragon Ball Z game that they've had, and I sincerely doubt that they would drop that because you know, that's just a game that's sold a lot. And it's very really successful so they want to keep that going so you know tell me what you guys think that you'd want to see in xenoverse 2 uh, obviously going to be a lot of fixes for things that were wrong with Xenoverse 1. Uh, we have no real idea about the parallel quests and all that stuff, if they're going to be any sort of tweaks to that so I, it, like, it's not so repetitive or anything like that, or if there's any other way for them to make it not repetitive. But I really want to see what you guys think. I uh, also want to obviously see the hit detection be ch fixed, and obviously some of the fans are trying to get that done right now, but it's actually a little bit tough. But hopefully the hit detection will get fixed on Xenoverse 1 because, you know, Xenoverse 1 itself... When you play online, it's not actually a fun thing with the hit detection and with all the lag. And, you know, all there were a lot of overpowered things before DLC Pack 3, but the patch for DLC Pack 3 kind of nerfed, like, almost everything that was really wrong in terms of super attacks and all that stuff. Obviously, some new stuff probably has arisen since then because, you know, that's how it's always going to be. Like, stuff will always be overpowered in some way, and it just takes time for that th stuff to arise. But, you know, they did fix a lot of the things that were wrong with it. Uh, the level 99 thing kind of uh, did, uh, for a lot of people, ruin the game, or at least they didn't want to play it anymore because either they didn't want to have to grind out to get to level 99 they felt like it would ruin the online and all that stuff for them and they would just stop playing it or something along those lines they just didn't want to keep grinding on the same parallel quest they gave like the same what six or seven or eight parallel quests that they gave for dlc pack three they didn't want to keep doing those in order to hit level 99 or to do the grade eight missions which is even more monotonous so a lot of people stopped playing the game, and I can understand why. Uh, personally, it is still my favorite Dragon Ball Z game of all time. I have over 400 hours of it played on Steam, and I don't have a, I don't play a lot of the PS4 version only because, uh, for me personally, I cannot stand playing the game on the PS4 because it has motion blur and you cannot turn it off. It's something that obviously won't be uh, taxing to the system if you were able to turn it off and sadly they give you no option to and motion blur kind of makes me sick so i can't I, it literally makes me sick so i can't play that uh personally i really do uh like the pc version obviously the 60 fps the actual ability to turn off the motion blur and all the other effects 
uh, it just makes it a little bit better to actually play and it, it's more relaxing to do. I could play it like all the time and just like, you know, have fun with it. Obviously, I can mess around with mods as well. That's something else that adds a little tiny bit more replayability to the game. Obviously, it's not like it's a whole new game because they are just mods at a point, but it is still something to keep the game going for me. That's why I have over 400 hours of it on Steam. And I, I don't know. Uh, personally, for me, it is my most favorite Dragon Ball Z game only because that's my type of game. I know a lot of people when I say that, they get like, wow. Wow, really it's your favorite not Budokai 3 or Budokai Tenkaichi 3 well my favorite from the Budokai series is Infinite World and that's a close second I really do love Infinite World and then obviously Burstam will be after that then maybe Budokai 3 but it's probably yeah I'm actually Budokai 3 after that um but yeah personally uh, Xenoverse is my favorite. Uh, hopefully their sequel is a lot better than their first because, you know, their first was, you know, the first 3D game that Dimps has ever made as well as the first in a series. And obviously, as we all know, for the past uh, series that Dragon Ball Z games have had, the beginning is always a little rough. There's always some problems or there's always some sort of things they need to get over some, uh, not glitches usually, but just like uh, inconsistencies and bad things in the gameplay they need to fix. And they can easily do that here, I think. Personally, for a first game in the series, I think Xenoverse is pretty darn good. But I, I don't know. A lot of people have different feelings about that. Some people think that Xenoverse is overrated trash. Some people think that Xenoverse is great. Some people think Xenoverse is okay. So, you know, there's a whole bunch of differing opinions on the spectrum. So, it, I guess it just depends on where you're looking from. But, like, as we've already seen, Budokai 1. Budokai 1 was, uh, even though it did have one of the best story in any Dragon Ball Z game, uh, some people would say that it has the best story of any Dragon Ball Z game at the current moment still because of how the cutscenes and all that stuff are laid out like kind of like episodes and all that stuff and that game it didn't have a lot of characters it didn't have a lot of moves and all that stuff and then you know it, Budokai 2 came around had added a little bit more on to that and it was a game that a lot of people really liked as children and all that stuff and then Budokai 3 came around which is known as like one of the best Dragon Ball Z games and then after that a while after that I think it was after uh, Burst Limit as well that Infinite World came out on the PS2 and that game sadly because of how late it was put up in that time <laughs> or, or in the PS2 era because PS2 I think already had died at that point then <laughs> Infinite World really didn't get any time to shine and that's kind of sad because Infinite World in my opinion I like it a lot more than Budokai 3 only because of the non-inclusion of the Dragon Rush only because I, I really don't like the Dragon Rush that's my personal opinion uh, I really hate it uh, because I just feel like it's too luck based for a game, especially like a game like Budokai 3, which would seem to depend more on your own skill and then something completely luck based like that or just by chance. I don't, I don't like that really. So personally, that was not my thing in Budokai 3. That's just something that I didn't like, but that's just my personal opinion. I'm kind of rambling, but I'm just like talking about how the game uh, in Budokai 1 was obviously a little bit bare bones, something that wasn't incredible, but then uh, after a few games, they made it into something amazing. So hopefully they can do the same thing with Xenoverse. I hope so. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Do you really want to see uh, sequels to Xenoverse? Because they're obviously going to make another one, but it could end up being like Rage of Blast 2 if it doesn't sell well. Uh, then they will stop the series just like how Raging Blast had stopped the series after uh, Raging Blast 2 uh, first of all got awful reviews and it didn't sell well. So tell me what you think in the comments down below. I'd really like to hear what you guys think. And yeah, I will see you guys later in the next video. Uh, if you guys want me to talk more about Xenoverse in any way or anything Xenoverse 2 related in terms of ideas, in terms of any sort of speculation, uh, then put it down in the comments down below. I'd really like to talk about it. I really like to talk about Dragon Ball Z games again because recently I've been talking about Dragon Ball Super only because that's a new series and it's kind of groundbreaking that we're getting one and it's actually very very close so yeah if you guys want to see any info about that then make sure to go to the other videos that i posted in the past few days i'd really like to see what you guys think about this though so make sure you comment down below as well as to leave a like if you did enjoy the video as well as subscribe if you really want to see more content like this and i will see you guys later have a great day i will see you guys later peace out